Hello everyone, hope you are doing absolutely fantastic as usual. So in our last video, we discussed about epsilon greedy approach to deal with exploration and exploitation dilemma. Today in this video, before going into other approaches to solve multi bandit problems, uh, we will define three terms. Number one, reward. Number two, action. And number three, value of an action in the context of multi bandit problem. So what is a reward? So we define a reward such a way that when you win on a machine for a particular trial, you get a reward of one. And when you lose on that machine, then you get zero reward. Now come to action. So suppose we have three bandit machines. So we have three different levers to pull. Okay. So we define an action as pulling a particular lever. So if you have three different levers or if you have three different bandit machines, then you have three different actions to do. Now come to value of an action. So value of an action is defined as the expected return of an action. So how you can estimate the expected return of an action. So for that, you can simply take the average over the reward for a particular action. And in this way, you can get an estimation, an empirical estimation of the expected reward. We don't have any way, we don't have any method to estimate the exact value of expected reward. We can just estimate that value and we can estimate that value with more and more trials. Typically, we denote the action value as Q. So there is a way to uh, update the action value, which is the expected return for a particular action incrementally. Uh, so you can see in the formula, there is QN plus one and uh, there is QN. So QN is the previous expected return or action value and qn plus 1 is the new updated value based on the value rn and rn is the current reward we obtained from a particular trial so in the formula you can see we are incrementing the old qn value towards new rn and we do it by multiplying rn minus qn by 1 by n where n is the number of trial and adding this value with qn so in the earlier video we discussed the stationary multi arm bandit problem so in this video we are going to discuss the problem of non-stationary multi arm bandits so in non-stationary multi arm bandit problems the action value of a particular action changes over time. So when action value changes, that means for the machines, the internal programming uh, of the winning rate changes with time. So that's why the action value also changes with time. So in that case, we cannot estimate in this case, the action value for a particular action by simply taking the average over the rewards. What we have to do, we have to do weighted average of the reward that we obtain for a particular action over time. So while doing weighted average will give more weight to the recent rewards or recent trials than the previous trials because our action value is changing over time. So we'll give more weightage to the current values or current rewards uh, than the previous rewards. So here on the screen, you can see the formula to compute uh, incrementally the uh, to estimate incrementally the action value uh, of a particular action. Uh, the formula looks same as our previous formula to incrementally update the QN value. So here QN plus one is equal to QN plus alpha and alpha is a very small number between zero and one alpha multiplied by RN minus QN. So here also we are updating QN value towards RN uh, by a small factor of alpha and adding this value to qn. So in this incremental update formula for non-stationary problems, uh, it can be shown with a small derivation that uh, by doing incremental update in this manner, uh, we get 
a weighted average over the reward uh, and where we give more weightage to the uh, the recent reward this is called exponential recency weighted average so you can see the derivation on the screen it's a small derivation and we get the final formula as shown in the screen so in this way uh, we can estimate the action value for a non-stationary uh, multi arm bandit problem so basically what we get when we estimate the action value of uh, a particular action so as we discussed in our previous video we have to follow the action that has maximum action value okay but if we simply follow the estimated action value which has maximum value then this, this may not be a um, optimal strategy because because we have to keep estimating the action value for other actions also because we cannot be certain that this is the best action so what you have to do you have to apply the same epsilon greedy approach so here we end this video so we here discussed three different terms reward action and action value and we also see how to incrementally update our action value with a number of trials so uh, in our next video we see a different approach called uh, upper confidence bound where you don't have to deal with the exploration and exploitation dilemma and it is handled automatically and upper confidence bound is a deterministic approach uh, here nothing is probabilistic in that uh, in that algorithm but in the later video in uh, on multi arm bandit we'll see another approach called thompson sampling which is even better than uh, upper confidence bound approach and there in Thomson sampling it's a completely probabilistic uh, algorithm and it is much better than upper confidence bound so see you till then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon thank you